Yes, brother, it's Shay here. The video today is about shame and guilt when it comes to sex. This is a really important one to take on and listen to uh, because if you are struggling with erection challenges and when you go to have sex, you notice a feeling of fear or you just totally avoid it in the first place because you don't want to feel that embarrassment, then this video is for you. Um, let's jump straight into it and talk about shame and guilt right when we experience erection problems there's a lot of shame and guilt that comes with that anyway and there may have also previously been other ways that we've shamed ourselves or made ourselves feel guilty so whether this has been meeting sex workers in the past or whether it has been something like porn um, when we wrap around shame and guilt with sexuality it makes things, there's always some kind of complica complications that come about because of this, particularly when we're in a relationship or with a partner, with somebody that we love. Because on one hand, there's the level of intimacy and a bond that sex creates. And then on the other hand, we're having these experiences that make us feel like it's bad and wrong. And I feel shameful and guilty because of the either past uh, what's happened in the past or because I can't stay hard during sex. So can you see how we're kind of attaching shame and guilt with the situation of sex itself or the act of sex, whether it's full sex or, you know, whatever it may be. And so what does that mean? Well, the more that we continue to do that, the more that we're basically telling ourselves subconsciously sex is wrong or sex is bad or it's shameful or fearful because we have this part of us that has a, a fear attached to it or a, um, a, a shame stick attached to it every time we go to do it. And over time, we tell that to our subconscious mind more and more and it becomes stronger. So it's important for us to be able to change that pattern and the first step that I'd like you to do today is a very simple one. It's just to become aware of it, right? When you go to think about initiating sex or finding somebody sexually attractive, just scan yourself and just notice, does a feeling of shame, oh no, I can't do that, jump in? Is there any quick thoughts that jump in or a fear of, no, I can't initiate because what if that happens and then I'll feel embarrassed and shame and guilty? Um, so you're looking for this feeling of a contraction, right? Or a, oh, it doesn't necessarily even have to be words at times, but this feeling of like, oh, um, and then the words come that are shame and guilt. I can't do this, or that's wrong, or that's bad, or what if I don't get this right, or what if it all goes wrong? So that's the shame and guilt that we layer on top. So it's as simple as that. I purely, I'd like you to just purely scan for if when it comes to uh, sexual thoughts, having sex, initiating, if you feel that sensation come up in your body and then what to do next. So below I am going to put in the comments a link to a free guide that I've created. This is brand new. Uh, it is a number, it shows you the number one mistake that men make that creates a lifelong erection problem. So it's important to get this guide so that you can avoid that problem and avoid having a lifelong erection. So once you've done the action from this video today and just scanned for shame or guilt feeling, head below in the comments and you'll see the link to the free guide. Click on that. It will take you straight to the page where you access the free guide and, and read it and take that information on so that you can avoid making this same mistake. 